Well, the, 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 the large issues, I think, are how are we as a, as a people, as individuals, states, country, going to deal with the challenges of uh, globalization uh, over the period of the future? Are we going to be driven out by these forces, or are we going to be willing to grasp them and to shape them and to turn them into our advantage? I think that's a central challenge. And that means investing in people, investing in education skills, other kinds of issues or questions. And I think a follow-up um, answer to that is to understand the strength of the nation, which is our values. That's what we are, when we are respected as a country, that's what we're respected for. Those are the uh, values which are uh, inscribed both in the Declaration of Independence and also in, in, the, uh, in the Constitution. Those are the values that were expressed um, in, the, uh, in, the, in the ship May, the Mayflower, with the Mayflower Compact, about our sense of community and, and the value of, of being together. It's described in the Constitution, the general welfare um, of our nation. That's when we have been at, at our best. And I think those are, that's our greatest uh, strength, the greatest challenge, I think, is whether we're going to be, how we're going to cope with the central challenges of a rapidly changing world, and I think the other great challenge is how we're going to maintain this strength of sense of, of community and value, uh, which has uh, been such a, a, a compelling force in the shaping uh, our own lives and also in shaping the lives of the nation.